I am Maria Garcia de Flori. Admiring a mountain, climbing a mountain, is the place where a person can live one of the most fruitful experiences of their existence. Climbing a mountain reveals youthful spirit, enthusiasm for life and mental health, as well as curiosity about what is in front of us. The mountain is the most extraordinary monument on earth, and in it are frequently found the places that can most impress living beings. How many times did Jesus withdraw to the desert or to a mountain to pray? In the silence of the mountain, in the soft breeze, in the view from above, he heard the voice of the Father and at the same time begged his help for the world below. The mountain was the favorite environment of the Divine Trinity. It was in the solitude of the mountain when Jesus, in union with the Father and the Holy Spirit, gathered strength to fulfill his mission. And it was on the mountain where he showed a small window of his glory in the transfiguration. Many mountains are enormously high, with great vertical cliffs, immense waterfalls, grandiose gla glaciers with icy galleries that takes us back to millions of years old. To reach the top of, mount of a mountain, one must travel a long way up valleys, villages, passing through forest, deep gorge, deep climb wild slopes that can be arduous walls and dangerous edges, reaching hills and gates between seas of clouds to reach the top. Today's world, which often consistently ignores God, the Creator, unconsciously is seeking God and tries to honor Him through the created world. That is why we see so much passion for protecting the environment, for connecting with Mother Nature, for meditating from the heights of a summit of, or a volcano or a very high mountain, for feeling part of that majesty, that strength, that inexplicable greatness with its rivers, waterfalls, trees, birds. And in reality, the most overwhelming truth is that we are beloved children of a God who has given us creation in all its splendor so that we may know him and give him glory. From a mountain, we're able to see the immensity that is out of our hands. We feel small and at the same time connected to something or someone infinitely bigger and more powerful than us. That human being becomes human when he thinks of the, his smallness before the world and at the same time in the greatness of the love that God has for him. At the top of the mountain, you feel how the soul is transformed. By assimilating the experience, we reach a higher degree of consciousness. And that is why the dialogue between the person and the mountain reaches the transcendent that humani humanism seeks. Let's not lose, friends. Let's not lose the ability to wonder at the beauty of the world around us. And as we admire it, let us ask God that we be capable of admiring and enjoying his love. Let's seek silence. Let's seek to admire the greatness of nature, sunrises, sunsets, mountains, seas, rivers, because no one but God has been able to create such wonders. And friends with God, we always win.